It was only about four months ago when I set up my first ever paid product. It was a school community where basically people could join this like private community and get like one-on-one -on -one coaching for me on basically how to make your life better, self-improvement coaching. And if I'm being honest, it was complete anatomy. I didn't get a single sale for like a whole month. I put so much effort into the sales page. I put so much effort into making this community really, really super good and super valuable, but no one bought it. <laughs> Every single day I would wake up and I'd check my Gmail to see if I've got any like new customers or anything. Every single day for maybe like 25 days, not a single new customer. And I was, I was wondering why I was like, I was like, okay, my product's cheap. There's so much value, so much everything like this. I'm not, I'm not being very pushy on people. I'm not telling people to go buy it so they don't like run away and get annoyed at me. I'm just, I'm being honest and open about what my, what my product is. And it's really cheap. It's only like $19. And I was really confused about like why my product wasn't getting sales. I was like, yes, I put so much effort into this. And every single day, I wake up, sit up, open my phone, open Gmail, not a single new customer for about 25 days until I got to a point where I, I just spoke to this like business mentor type of guy and asked him, why aren't I getting sales? What's going wrong? And he just said two words for me. Well, three really. He said, Sam, you have to sell arrogantly. Well, that's really, that's about six words actually. He said about six words. He said, Sam, you have to sell arrogantly. I was a bit confused at the first. I was like, what? Selling arrogantly? Like what? Like, yeah, being the best and yeah, I'm so good. My product's so good. Like being like that. And he was like, yes, being exactly like that. I was like, wait, what? But then people are going to get annoyed at you that you're saying your products are best and people are going to feel pushed away because you're being too pushy because I believe in the whole like selling subtly thing where you got to be like, always like hide your product so when people find it, it's like they're surprised that you have a product and they want to buy it. Like, I was I was really in that mindset. And when he just told me, sell arrogantly, be really confident about your product, inspire confidence into people that your product is going to be the best. When he told me that, I was a bit confused, but eventually I just went with it. I went with it. I redid the whole sales page, redid all the via sell, everything like that. And... <sighs> I got my first sale. I increased the price to $150 and I got my first ever sale. And then the next day I got another sale and the day after that I got two sales. And then the day after that I got another sale and then the day after that I didn't get a sale and then the day after that I got two sales. And I got up to about 12 clients with that. See, so you need to be arrogant when you're selling. You have, to, you have to get rid of this mindset where you're like, yeah, you guys, you can buy my product if you want. Yeah, it could help you. Yeah, you might be the right fit for my product. Yeah, guys, you don't have to buy my product if you want to. Stop being like that, bro. It makes you seem like a big little pussy. Imagine someone came up to you in the street and they were trying to sell you on their like, life insurance or something like that. Imagine someone came up to you in the street while you were just like walking down the street and they tried to sell you life insurance. And they came up to you and said, oh, hey, man, I'm selling life insurance and it might work for you. It might be a little bigger for you. It's a little bit expensive, but um, it, it could work for you. Yeah, and this might be the right deal for you. But again, don't feel pressured to buy if you don't want to. This could work. Do you think you're going to buy off that guy? Do you think you're actually going to buy off that guy? Buy his like stupid little life insurance or whatever off that guy? You won't, are you? Because he, he's a really bad salesman because he's not being arrogant. He's being like humble, being like, yeah, my product's not the best, but you can buy it if you want to. Stop being like that, bro. Imagine another salesman comes up to you. He's also selling life insurance and he goes, hey, this will change your life. It'll, you'll feel so much more secure if you have my life insurance because it's cheap. Yes, yeah, so it's not going to be a massive financial pressure on you and it will pay out massively, which means you don't have to worry about your family being any financial struggles when you pass. Out of Salesman 1 and Salesman 2, who are you more likely to buy? Well, Salesman 2, because he inspires so much more confidence in you that his product is good and that's what you have to do. You have to inspire confidence into your leads, into your potential clients to actually make them want to buy your product. Don't make them worry that your product might not be worth it. Make them sure, make them confident that it is going to be worth it. Because you see, all the top level guys, all the top like super level successful guys, you might not believe it, but they are all super super arrogant they you not they they look at you and they think yeah he's just a little stupid guy that's not rich or anything that's what they'll think of you now these examples might make you cringe a bit but just think you have to stop acting like the little beta male who's like like concerned that people might think he's just like a little scammer because he's selling so hard you have to stop being like uncomfortable like that and start being more like the alpha male who's like fully confident that his products are best and it really inspires confidence into everyone so stop selling like a beta male and start selling like an alpha male. Because if you don't start making progress and if you don't actually start getting sales and you don't start winning, then your life isn't going to be very good and your family is going to stay suffering. Your family is going to stay enslaved. Think of your parents, how much work they have put in to provide for you, how much work and how much pressure they are going under simply just to provide for you. And what are you giving them back? Nothing at all. You have to start making progress. You have to start getting results soon. Because you already know you aren't destined to work a stupid little nine to five job like most people do. You already know you aren't destined for that. So stop acting like it. You already know you're destined to help your family, to save your family. So start acting like that. You already know, bro, I am different from most of the guys on YouTube. You already know I'm different from most people. I'm making almost $2,000 a month and I'm 15. And you already know the only way you're actually gonna start making progress in business is if you get help from me. So go click the link in the description right now, bro, because I will change 
your life. I hope this video served you well. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.